This is Blake Atwood with FaithVillage.com. We're talking with Ken Coleman, host of his own syndicated radio talk show, aptly named The Ken Coleman Show, and author of One Question, Life-Changing Answers from Today's Leading Voices. Do you have another book in the works? And is there anything you can share about that? Yeah, that's a good question. It's all up here. Um, you know, what, one of the things I love about One Question, this book, is that it's evergreen, meaning that a year from today, the book is just as relevant. And so... Um, I'm really working hard. I want to get out in front of as many people as possible. My speaking schedule is taking off. If anybody loves me to speak, I speak for church groups, corporate groups, colleges. They can go to KenColemanShow.com and fill out the speaking request form. But I'm really working on this thing right now and getting it out there. However, there is a book up here that's beginning to spin. And uh, I don't know what God's going to do with it, but if you force me right now, the next book right now, based on where I'm at, will be on the sweet spot, which is what I talked about earlier. Um, when I speak about that, I I'm blown away, Blake, by the response. And I'm talking like successful people. And just one quick tease. Here's what's happening. If our sweet spot is at the intersection of our greatest strength and our greatest passion, the world's made up of two basic types of people. People who uh, are really awful at what they want to do, right? So this is the American Idol thing. This is the kid who really wants to be famous or sing, but they can't sing. I mean, this is the frustrated, uh, confused type. They don't know what's going on. They're mad. They just can't find their place in the world. Now let's flip that. Then we got people who are really, really good at their job, but they hate it, right? So they're knocking down six figures or more. They got all the cars, everything, but they're addicted. They're cheating on their spouse. They're looking for something because what's going on there is they're just miserable and they're desperate because they're not doing what they love. And so when I talk about marrying those two at the intersection of our great strength and great passion, uh, people respond in a way like I'm just blown away. And this is because as parents, we're not teaching this. And I'll be very honest with you, our churches aren't preaching this. You know, I grew up in church, and I remember the will of God being talked about like this thing that I absolutely – could not miss, but I didn't get a whole lot of direction on how to find it, and I was scared to death. Well, you know, thankfully a mentor shared what I just shared with you, and uh, uh, I'm passionate about helping people find their sweet spot because when they do, um, then faith comes in and we have to step in it. And we got millions of Christians, Blake, who actually know what their sweet spot is, but they're afraid to step into it. And see, God is not this God who gives us this green arrow, you know, like that financial commercial we see on television that just points us where we need to go. Yet Christians act like that. And we sit in America's churches, and we're just waiting on God to tap us on the shoulder. And my theology says that uh, God is waiting for us to step into our sweet spot, the place that he created us to be in. And then when we step into that ambiguity, then he steps up. Because at that point, he makes things happen. And only he can get the credit because everybody who knows us, including ourselves, know we can't take credit for his providential movement.